There are so many profound moments in this film, but one of the, you said a, a few things, both of y'all did, but you say you struggled with, with the idea of having other people care for you. You felt like a burden. Mm -hmm. And you said something so incredible. You said that you have to allow them to find their joy mm -hmm. in that process. Can you explain what you meant by that? The natural feeling is to feel like a burden, like I don't want to put somebody out to help me. But what I found is that we, Patrick finds an immense amount of joy helping me. My wife does. A lot of my friends and family do, church family. And um, why would I want to rob them of that right. joy? Mm -hmm. Right. It's an incredible act yeah. of selflessness, I think, to, to get to that point. Um, speaking in terms of faith, how did faith help you get through this? Oh, I would say faith was a foundation for this journey. Uh, but what's interesting is that while faith kind of fueled us and kind of gave us the drive, we have a Christian background, uh, that was a drive for us just, okay, I mean, what, what can we do as we tap into something that's beyond ourselves? That was kind of the fuel, you know, finding mm -hmm. something that was just more than who we are as individuals. But the journey itself kind of reshaped our faith as well. And what I mean by that is we, we, we kind of, I think you sum it up best, Justin, when you say, like, our, our faith in humanity was restored. There's a remarkable capacity in every single human being to love. And we don't hear about that. We don't see that in the news. We don't see that in, in, in culture as often as we should. And this journey was one that just showed us there is so much love out there. Sure. And that's, at the end of the day, that's what should, should fuel every decision we make. Is it grounded in loving somebody? If it's not, it's, it's, it's meaningless. You're, you're absolutely right. And that, that brings me back to the, the first thing I said to y'all, which is this, I want this show to be a reminder to people. You, you, you see this incredible hate online. Mm -hmm. People voicing opinions about people with not just a difference of opinion, I don't like your jacket. Right. I hate you because I don't like that jacket or I don't like who you voted for. I don't like who you believe in. Right. You almost lose the capacity to think like that after you watch this film. You, you, would, you would be less of a person if, if, if you found it easy to criticize and judge someone else after this film. That's why I say it's so important it, it, on so many levels. Um, Justin, tell me about the work that you're doing with the Muscular Dystrophy Association. Yeah, so the MDA has been um, along, along my journey ever since I was first diagnosed. Um, and it's, they are just an organization that has just surrounded me with support and uh, care and, and to have the film like we have, um, to be able to give back to them in a way. Um, we are really excited kind of where we are in this next phase. We'd be able to help make an impact for kids to go to camp, uh, kids to like not have to live with diseases like mine and adults as well. So it's, a, it's an often awesome opportunity to be able to give back to an organization that has given me so much over the years. So how cool is that? I'm so happy yeah. to hear that. I'm really happy to hear it. And I hope everybody, especially around the holiday time where yeah. kids are going to have a little more time off, they can go see this film. I really recommend to, to everyone watching today, go see the film and also uh, the book, uh, I'll Push You. Now, the Muscular Dystrophy Association told Ashley Homestore about y'all. And they were so moved by all the work that both of y'all have done to help others that Ashley Homestore would like to do a little something for y'all. We have what? something for you. No way. A They're super, a super check. It's massive. <laughs> no way. They are presenting you with $25,000 in home furnishings. What? Thank you. It's a, little, it's a little something because we love you. Justin and Patrick, oh, you. it's an honor to have you. Please Thanks, come back Harry. and see us. I could, I'd love to talk to you all some more.